Abuse of parking placards for the disabled is particularly prevalent around the medical university, the city market, and other areas in downtown Charleston where parking is in short supply. Parking enforcement officers say much of the abuse stems from people using placards that were issued to someone else, often a friend or relative who has a legitimate disability. In South Carolina, people displaying handicapped placards receive free parking at metered and timed spaces. This perk makes the envelope-sized placards worth their weight in gold. The Post and Courier watchdog team hit the streets to see how widespread the problem is and what officials are doing about it. We talked with disabled people who are frustrated by the cheating, as well as people who admitted to scamming the system by illegally using handicapped placards in order to get free and convenient parking spaces. There's no expiration date. No expiration date. It's a one, three, seven, six, nine, eight, eight. But look at the uh, coloring to it. Maybe that's just old. City officials don't know how much the abuse costs the city in lost revenue each year, but they have attempted to crack down in recent months. The newspaper's investigation, however, found that the problem continues unabated, leaving genuinely disabled residents, such as Kathy Andrea, frustrated and mad. I think there are two spaces over here for handicapped, and I don't know that I've ever seen a handicapped person out. Now here we go, here's a one handicapped space in front of the art museum. Uh, there is a, there's a temporary tag in the window. Some state lawmakers have introduced legislation aimed at making it more difficult for able-bodied people to get their hands on and misuse placards. But some parking officials and advocates for the disabled say the best deterrent may be more public awareness of the problem so that cheaters are left wondering who might be watching. For the Post and Courier Watchdog, this is Ron Menchaca, charleston.net.